21. Let's read 16 and then we'll jump to 21 and then we'll read through 31. Or 32 rather. Romans chapter 1 and in verse 6. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to what? To the Greek. Go to 21. Because that when they knew God, because that when they knew God, they glorify Him not as God, neither were thankful, but become, became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Next verse. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Please be fast. The incorruptible God and the change. Oh my God. And change the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, born in their lust, one toward another, men with men, walking that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was myth and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge God gave them over to a reprobate mind come on say reprobate mind come on church reprobate mind I can't hear you louder to do those things which are not convenient. Uh huh. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, death, receipt, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. I want to talk on what is called strongholds. Strongholds are perversion. Continuous perversion that have bettered coldness in the heart of men towards God. Continuous perversion of the loss of God. And this over time has grown into developing a cold mind towards God and the loss of God. This is strongholds. Strongholds are negative mindsets negative belief system that 
have attracted the presence of unclean spirits. Strongholds are demonic mindsets that is fortified by the presence of unclean spirits. Strongholds are perversions that have been strengthened by unclean forces. Strongholds are destructive mindsets that have been empowered by demonic spirit to ensure that the victim keep thinking the way they are thinking. Strongholds. Strongholds start from breaking the laws of God. Because the Bible begins to give us in the book of Romans a description of this kind of people that they know God. So stronghold is built. Now, when you break the laws of God, listen to me. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm going somewhere. When you break the laws of God consciously, not that you do not know the laws, but you decide to break the law. Let me set for example. When you, God says, do not fornicate, and you know the Bible says, do not fornicate, and you keep fornicating. Now, this is not void of the knowledge of the laws of God. Do you understand? You are not void of the knowledge of God. You know God. You know his laws. You know what he said you should not do. And you keep doing that which you should not do. What is happening is you are perverting the laws of God. And as you continue in that perversion, it begins to grow so much more that it will get to a time you don't feel huh? You don't feel that you have hurt God. Hello? Am I making sense? You have lived in that perversion so much more that it doesn't hurt you. The first day you fornicated, you, the word of God pricked your heart. And maybe you went and knelt down and said, Oh God, forgive me. Do you understand? But as you continue in that perversion, what happens is that your heart becomes cold. Then you do it willingly and willfully without feeling bad. That is not all. Then as you begin to involve in that, now remember you are not, vo you are not void of the knowledge. It then means that there are times when as you keep doing that, the Holy Ghost keep coming to speak to your heart and say this thing you are doing is wrong but you keep doing it then it gets to a point where God the Bible says God gave them up to what? a reprobate mind that means God stopped speaking to them so these guys continued in that evil and then there is the third part of it that is dangerous. The second phase of it is that you now look out for scripture to back what you are doing. Say, ah, uh, but you know be fire would. <laughs> are you seeing it now? Now, you did not only continue in that evil, but you found a resting place. So demon camp around that mindset and say just do it God understand you know if you sin he will forgive you he said he's a merciful God so he will forgive you so continue in it so you say ah then you now say all of us are not holy oh. let me let, let. <laughs> are you seeing that now I'm just telling you how these things begin to develop then the third stage of it is that you begin to invent new ways to sin. And you start teaching people on how to do it and it is not bad. So you become a counselor in that evil deeds. Then over time, what happens is that it becomes a stronghold. It becomes part of your life. It becomes something that you cannot do without. It becomes a stronghold. 
When a man gets to this point, his heart towards God is dead already. 